what's up guys we are back again jumping back into hogwarts we got some outposts to um listen to i guess and i think after that last episode a bunch of new quests just popped up so i think it's going to be more than just those side quests that um i had left you with in the previous one so let's just get back into it let's listen to these guys I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. It's the boy right there. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. Hmm. I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? All right. Lots of things to do. Yep. 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 Rolling Oaks. Serona. Shadow of the estate. Deke wants to teach me how to use the knapsack to rescue magical beasts. So I do need to go back and research those garments as well. So I'm thinking that I might do that. Um, uh, flyers. Oh. Also on a levitated enemy, so I might be able to get that one. So okay, let's let's go back here. You can teach me this, and then maybe I can do some of these side ones as well. But for now, let's let's focus on the knapsack. Is rescuing a magical beast sounds right up my alley. Lame. All right, let's go back here. Where's my map? I also got to do some of these Merlin trials, man, to try to... Fuck it. It's what we're doing. Because I am tired of running out of slots in my gear set. Really quite irking me, guys. Irking me. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Oh no, I'm out of mallow sweet. Can I get mallow sweet from? Seeds and fertilizer. Uh, I don't know what that would be. Tom's and scrolls, hogshead, joke. Ah, fine, fine. We won't do that. I get to my room. Uh, yeah, that's this is where I want to go. How do I? Oh my gosh, I'm being stupid right now, aren't I? Being really stupid. Really, really, really stupid. How do I get out of this? Uh, back. Secret rooms, that's what I'm looking for. Dang. Yes, right here. Deke. Ah, 
Deke is so happy to see you. Uh, Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Whoa. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. It's like a Kirby. It's a <laughs> Kirby sack. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. No, let's let's leave now. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Ah, crap. I should have researched my... Dang it. Oh, well. I guess we'll have to come back. I got too excited. I was ready to nab. Nab stuff. Oh, look at that view. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I wish I could get Deke some new clothes, you know. Been working hard. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay. Tap T. Then hover over your nose and drag it to your spell set. So this is going to take up another fucking slot. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Get in here. Nice. On a ten. Can I get more? Oh, it's the. Will never believe this. It's the wizarding, um, Pokeball. Yes. All right. All right. Do I do I need a Rebellion. rescue all these foos? I don't know what they need rescuing from, but what's that? Oh, get over here. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. Cool. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernal, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Jobbernal. Some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there. 
Whenever you're ready. Choom. Well, uh, you know, Link is ready, so Seymour is ready. Let's do this. Wait. What is that other one? Am I tracking a couple of them? You see that? Over on the left side there? What is that? Oh well, whatever. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanols are just here in this large tree. Oh. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Hmm. Do some bees. Okay, whatever. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be. I knew this tree was important. Okay. All right. And hata. Double left. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Nice. Nice. Okay. A couple of those dudes. I'm going to start my own arc. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Moon calves? Shoom. Shoom. Look, I can floof here. Yas. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, mm. unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Hmm. Okay. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Map and pressing up. Okay. F. Uh, yes. Yo. Little, little cute little creatures here. Come here. Fuck. No need to be difficult. I mean, you know harm. Yeah, no shit. Go here. Ah! I think it's up. Huh. 
Yes. Everything's all right now. What big eyes you have? What big eyes? Can I catch a deer? Shit. 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 Dang it. How about you? Yes. Ah, man. Oh, not easy. Here. Come on. Here. Here. Okay, now we're gonna... Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Stop it. Shit, did I break the game again? Oh my gosh, come on. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Oh, dude, come on. Oh, I really, really shit the bed on this one. Work for me here. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. All right. I guess we'll just slow walk our way back to Deke. Maybe he can unlock this mess. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can't. I cannot push any other buttons. Nothing. Oh, oh, there. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's changing my spell sets, though. Something. You hear it, like, sucking, right? <laughs> Maybe I can go to the map and like floof back down here just to get it reset and then come back. I just don't want to lose any progress. Especially after I caught it. I guess it's not, it wouldn't be too hard to redo it, but whatever. Then we flew floof back here. And hopefully I big brained this thing. Yes. Yes. Ta ta. Okay. Alright, I'm free I'm free to move now. Okay, 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 okay. It's a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Mm, Why'd you tell me about that? Moses, you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. So I wonder if that means I'll be able to capture one a, a hippogriff or something. I want to know what I can use these two things for. Okay, back here. And secret rooms requirement. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Look at that room. Are you just gonna wander around down here or what? Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. Right. That wouldn't do at all. Uh, shitting all over the place. Your beasts vomiting. Need, the room will provide. Uh. What exactly did you think of? 
a little birdhouse to capture all my pets. Heavens. You've done it. Dang it, I thought that was going to be a pool table. Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Totally cool. Okay. Yo! Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live. A vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. That's cool. Uh, management H. Inventory to add beast community. Okay. Be free! Be free! Little weird looking creature with big eyes. Nice. I need one of these rooms. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. <laughs> so I can be kind of a poacher myself. <laughs> that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Nurture, sure they provide materials with magic. Okay, so this is how you can do your clothing with magic properties. So you gotta feed them, brush them. To be able to make them give you shit. I gotta rename it? What is summon? Oh, so that way I can therefore feed this dude. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Now, there's a little weirdo over here. Here. We'll Most groom you. Excellent. Oh, I like the belly rubs. The little belly rubs. That is one weird creature. Moon calf. Hmm. So I assume this doesn't go on forever, right? It's, uh. It has a cave? Oh, am I gonna be able to catch. Like. Um, like nighttime creatures that. Lore. Oh, for my room? Did I just get a new floor for my room? Nice. 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 Nice, nice. Oh, this goes pretty far. Can I... I just fly around here real quick just so I see what I got. No, I can't fly in here. Oh. I assume it only goes out so far you see the fence there. So I probably can't go very far out there anyways. I'd imagine, right? Only so many creatures can fit in here. Is 
assume this is where it stops. Yeah. Visible wall. But it can't go over. Okay. This is cool though. I wonder if it changes season with the season that we're currently in. So like it's fall right now. I wonder if it'll change to spring and whatnot. Oh, there's a path here. I didn't see this. What is this? A Schwinder eggs. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool. All right, let me go research my my clothing. Pots. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. There we go. Gear identified. I'll go to my inventory. Maybe I can go to Hogsmeade and sell this stuff right away too. This is better though. 45, 48, 51 with? Decreased damage taken from Dark Wizards. Protego shielding. Heck yeah. Nice. What else? 59. Nice. It kind of, it's similar to my color, but it's too big. Too big of a hat. I have a top hat. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, chrome dome. Okay, nothing. There. Here. Nothing. Here. Here. Bam, bam. Okay, I did want to... Throw that there. I'm going to throw that there instead. Can I change this? Okay, so nothing changes the little greenhouse effect that we have on there. Okay. So just barely the clock and kind of the the uh oh uh, what am I saying the the altar or the uh, the banisher across the top. So just leave that in this. Okay, I just wanted to see if I could change that. Oops. But I did get a new floor, is what it said, right? Or at least I thought I got a new floor. What did I collect? I don't know what I collected. Uh, how do I get to my collections again? There's 13 of them. Oh, I can rescue a hippogriff. Those hippogriffs that I ran to earlier. And the fooper. Oh, 
Fights, enemies. I don't know what I collected here, man. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, this thing. Right here. Section of... Decorations and gameplay stations conjured in the room of requirement. Conjuration spells. Chaz purchase. I mean. The variums. So how do I... So this is a section? So is it like a decoration or something that I can add to my room here? That I can conjure instead, right? Uh, oh well, whatever. Okay, so that's how you do that. <laughs> nice. Um, Conjuration spellcraft. They will provide magical materials, they provide uses, and you collect a jabbernal feather, hair from a pusking, and some wound calf fur. Oh, so he'll teach me how to do that stuff. So, since I'm in here already, I might as well do that. I am. So how do I collect this stuff? Collect. Like, collect, collect. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. How do I do this? Hello, Deke. I have some questions for you. What do you need to know? Yeah, how do I collect materials? How should I collect magical materials? It's quite easy. Simply approach a happy beast and they'll provide you with any magical materials they can. Really? Thank you. I'll get back to collecting materials. Wonderful. Good luck. I literally just approached that thing. Approach. What am I doing? Rubbing myself all over these things. It's not, they're not giving me anything. Where'd that, where'd that jabber wall go? Approaching. Sitting on. Dude. All I can do is interact with them. Summon. Dude, I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, I gotta do both. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. So, 
No, I fed you. I have not brushed you. That's a long tongue, dude. What you, what you do with that tongue, yo? All right, now collect. Okay, all right. Got it. Feed you. There you go. Eat it up. It's good. Good yum yums. They're made out of uh, um, snorkel butter or whatever you want to call it. I, I, I don't know. Wizard 3. Petty pet. Nice. Okay. 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 Got it. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay. Okay, the loom. The loom. Where am I going to put that thing? How big is it? Here. Loom. Whoa! Uh... Damn, a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Okay. Maybe I'll just take it in here. Statue over there. Maybe we put it on these one of these side walls here. We'll do it, do it over here for now. Thing is gigantic. Dang, that wheel makes it stick so far out, man. It's so big. Okay, well, whatever. Uh... Bandit cam, stands, got it. Choose something to be upgraded. Uh, the defense, sure. Item of clothing. How about this? Seriously? Did I not just add a trait to an item of clothing? What is going on? Oh, a trait. F is trait.
There we go. Okay. Alright. So there's upgrades and then there's traits. Nice. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. That came out nicely. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Well, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. What's this? Armored Knight? Horned Knight? Yo! Huh. I could put this dude at the entrance here. He can guard the entrance. Right there. Yeah. He can guard the other entrance. There. Boom. Mm-hmm. Move that shit. No, oh, I like that. All the way up against the wall. I move this one back. Oh. No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Any other cool stuff that I... Oh, look at this dude. Mooncap painting. Okay. Alright. That's it. Whatever. I'm done. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's a friend indeed. Serona, Conjuration Spellcraft. Appearances. Practice flying. Is this actually going to point me to some places around? It's not, right? Because I just have to stumble upon them. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. So those I can stumble upon. Okay. Let's go here. Three room sticks. Perfect opportunity to go hogs meat and sell some stuff. Yeah. Sell some stuff. We'll talk to her and then Serona. And we should be good, I think. Here I come. 
Tchum, 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 tchum. Nope. Need help selling stuff. That has the scorching on it. Did I crease that myself? Sell, sell, sell. Ooh. Ooh. Sell. This has two hundred on it as well. Am I selling shit that I am not, right? What am I wearing? 55? 59? I almost sold. 5. Jeez, I almost sold something I was I was did not want to sell. What else was it that? Okay, so that's fine. Anti venom. Forty six fifty. Oh, so I put the scorching on the wrong the wrong thing. Oh. Up on the defense. Dang it, man. Hat in nine. Son of a B. Plenty for your perusal today. The Take deuce, man. I wonder if I can add the... Well, I can add the traits back if I wanted to. Back. Okay, whatever. Just sucks I <laughs> used all my stuff to upgrade crap that I'm selling. Oh, well. I expect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Apparently I do, I just can't keep track of what I'm wearing, apparently. Dang. Alright. Okay, what's next? What am I doing? What was I doing? This one. Three broomsticks. Shum 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 shum. What the? Man, the side quests in there. See that? Serona. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. 
I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hawksfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> the, <laughs> like she's a little nervous, like... Should I be suspicious of some what's in that box? You know what? There's a friend in here. I don't need to ask why. Uh, I'll just stop by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. See, that's what you do with friendships. You know, you don't you don't ask stuff. They don't have to give you a reason why. Why they need stuff done, specifically. You know? You just be a good friend and just help them out, man. Don't ask questions. They're your friend, they're your pal. Okay, run, 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 run. Where, where am I going? Is this place close? It is not close. I have no floofs. No floofs. Okay. I have to run. Run, run. Am I far enough out? Can I fly? No. Dang it. Choom. Okay, now am I far enough out? Yes. Shoom. What the hell? Where am I going? Yo! What the heck happened? Why did it start following? Indeed, Shadow Estate. Yeah, I wanna. That's the one I wanna follow. Was it not going out here? Oh, yeah, it's going right there. And indeed. This one over here. Okay, so yeah, I was heading the right direction. Jeez. Apparently maps are not my friend in this game, and I cannot seem to follow them. The castle must have been quite stately in its time. Shoom. Shoom. Nice. There is a... Ah, the Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Bottle? Dude, get... Oh, there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Blue fear. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. What? Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. 
I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Hmm. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Hmm. Oh, so that's that other... Uh... Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. And there you go. That's all right. I want to talk to you again. Hello, Mrs. Bottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I believe I have some already. Yeah, I have some with me. I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld potion. Sorona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butter beer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow trucks. Aww, did she Aiden lose a love? Possible. What could have been? He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. God dang it. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. That's right, I don't Thank need to know. Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Hmm. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Revelio. Gotta be some field guides around here, right? I think. Maybe. Ranrock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? So many side quests to be done. Chest, chest, chest. There's a ting. I see the ting. Revelio. Pumpkin fizz. Hmm. Could be delicious. Hello. Here it is. Investigate. All these folio juices. Oh, fuck you. Get off me. Try, right, bitch. Get out of here. Boom. Boom. All. Must die. Is that Dude. Inferior, so I would jump up. Seriously. That must be one of Incendio. Fuck. Fuck you. Incendio. Oh, Baymont's corpse. 
not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. I mean, why not? So I, I basically went to the wrong mission, huh? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, hey. Uh, Jabernal? Birdie? Rebellio. Face item. Hmm. So did I accidentally do the wrong... ...thing? I did, huh? So I must have switched the uh, <laughs> the one that I was tracking. Oh well, I guess we'll knock them both out. Like it doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter. We just we just having fun. We chilling. We doing whatevs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's the cavern. So then well, we can go back there and we can complete two missions at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. What is this? You can feed a beast or it can feed you, if you get my meaning. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna choose not to fight you for now. <laughs> this must be the cavern Mrs. Bottle mentioned. Cave to find Sarona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk lumps while I'm there. Now, why would this guy take these letters down into this? box of letters. Like leaves me to believe that they were talking about some nasty stuff. For now, Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Just nasty, nasty stuff. And you had to take them all the way into... Man, that's a deep... Little pond there. Um, you had to take him into a deep secret cave to make sure nobody was looking over his shoulder reading these letters. I bet you they're a little freaky deek action up in here. Am I going to have to solve different puzzles? Is this way the first though? Monies, more monies. Revelio. Hmm. Man, seems like there's a lot in here. Lot of, lot, lots, lots of sh shit. Chesticles up there. Oh. Avoid it altogether. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, get off me. Ah, dang. Son of a bitch. 
Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck you, rock. Oh, no, 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 no,
Okay. Hopefully, nothing else crazy comes at me in here. A lot of effort to get some letters, man. Jeez. Squirrels. Is that dead squirrel? Uh, whatever. Uh, too much to read. Sorry. More, oh, more letters. Box of letters. Must be thrown as box of letters. More letters. Oh, missed a letter. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. Indeed. I hope so. Fight a damn troll just for some letters? Jeez. Crotch all up in my face and everything? Uh. I do not want to experience that again. Get out of here. Up, up, and away. Oh, wait. If I do that, I need to go tell her her person is dead, right? Yeah. Her brother. Person. Brother. And then I'll go tell Serona. Shoom. Wait, wrong one. This one. Hey. Oh, wait, it is actually her brother. She was telling me to talk to this chick about it. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Nope, he's dead. Madam Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badoff? What do you know of my brother? Oh, uh, pursue a new life or he's dead. Like, I I feel I should just tell him he's dead, right? That's better than her thinking that he just like ran off and didn't say a word to her or the rest of the family. I feel like, I feel like that's gonna hurt more than just knowing that something happened to him. Uh, let's tell the truth. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an inferior, and I had to kill him. What? But but how could you possibly think that an inferior was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand knitted. <gasps> no. No, this can't be. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Madoff. <laughs> and just like she, she's back to selling stuff. She's good. She's fine. The loyalists are a menace. What can be done? She's fine. <laughs> She's good. Don't worry. Not, nothing to worry about. That was a, a short morning process. Uh, this one here. 
go back to Hogsmeade. Because now I can floof there. Floofity floof floof floof. I didn't even catch the whole story <laughs> for that mission that I completed. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We got it done. Sorry, her brother died, but you know. That's what you get when you're exploring. What is going on? Jeez. Can't thank you enough for help. Why I have the courage to go into the forest. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wiggumel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her, and for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. There you go. Very nice, very nice. All right, we're gonna walk out here. Take a look at the missions here. I think this is a good point to stop. Oaks, the moons. It is nighttime, so maybe I can search around the Hogsmeade for these um the moonstones. I think there's one at the Hogshead, right? Uh broom, the assignments. More assignments. Yeah, we'll pick it up in the next one, guys. Um, I think that was pretty good. Fought a troll. Got some letters back, you know. Uh, learned how to get my, my Pokemon on and catch some beasts. All that good stuff. So, yeah, I think it was a good episode. So, we'll, we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it, guys. Again, uh, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing in your own game. Um, if you discovered anything so far that I haven't yet, I'm sure you have. Um, I'm a little behind on, on playing this uh, after all. So, yeah. I'll catch you in the next episode wherever you're at in the world. Have a good day. Have a good night. Take it easy. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.